and a large turnout in Wichita today at a march to support Palestinians caught in war zones. This is the second time they've gathered after meeting in Old Town in October. KSN's Derek Lytle was at the event. Derek? Craig, it was a peaceful protest that was meant to express they want an immediate ceasefire. This comes after brutal attacks by Hamas and retaliation by Israel in Gaza. I talked to several people who are concerned for their loved ones living in the war zone. A lot to unpack. I would say what I feel, wow, I mean, that's, there's a lot of things I feel. Jihad Kaki says they're concerned for his fiance's family who live in Gaza. Also, some of his relatives who live in the West Bank. In the first two weeks of the conflict, they completely lost contact and uh, literally had no idea if they were dead or alive. Shocked by the amount of local backing at their demonstrations. What's been more impressive has been the support from the Wichita community as a whole, the people who have no ties to Palestine directly, no ties even to like maybe any Muslim people in Wichita. Wanting the end of violence that has claimed thousands of lives, Carrie Siam says they've experienced pain from losing loved ones. My kids have uh, relatives that have died over there. All of these people that are Palestinian have relatives that have died, uh, whether they were bombed at a hospital or a school or in their homes. You know, it just, it needs to stop. And this is what we're protesting for. For Jihad, he wants humanity and empathy for people in Palestinian areas, something he believes everyone should be shown. I have cousins and uncles over there, and just to see the life that they've had to live versus the life I've been very blessed to live in the United States. He believes to get to the end goal of a ceasefire, that leaders need to sit down and discuss what to do moving forward. With many killed in the conflict, the hope today is that there will be a ceasefire soon. Here for you, Derek Weidel, KSN News 3.